now the first, I'm just gonna repeat that. So the first layer that was deposited here is the sand at the bottom of the lake. And now I'm going to have our glacier form up here in the headlands. And of course it's already melting a little bit. So, let me release that. So what I've done is I've mixed some kind of chipped ice with sand, gravel, silt, and clay. So I have all different sediment sizes. Uh, a glacier would normally not just be a pile mix like this, but this was actually pretty similar to what the base might look like. You'd obviously have solid ice on top. And so you're going to have the, all this mixed sediment as the glacier's grinding through the bedrock. It's going to bring up big boulders, gravel, sand, silts, and clays. So as this is beginning to melt out, we're forming an outwash channel. You can kind of see this little braided stream that's forming. And you can see that these sediments are being carried in, into the lake, right? So I'm going to start to have a warming event. So we have a nice warm seasonal rain. I'm going to kind of accelerate things here a little bit. So as melting continues, you see we start to form multiple outwash channels. And you can see what size sediments are kind of being left behind in the outwash channels. So what size sediments are we getting in here? So we have, we started with sand, gravel, gravel, sand, silt, and clay. What's being left behind in the outwash channels? So we have gravel, sand, right? So sand, where is the silt and clay going? Into the lake, right? So this is going to start to form a thin veneer of clays over those pre-existing sands. Right? So if we move through this system, we start with very unsorted or poorly sorted materials mixing with the ice. That melt water is going to start to move things around and sort things in the outwash channels, but it's still too fast to deposit everything. So you're going to move the finer things off uh, down into the lake.